Welcome in YouTube to part 6 of Morrigan and Atari's Adventures Through Shadowbringers. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, this video, I'm going to give you all a heads up ahead of time. You probably saw by the little timestamp thing. Uh, it's a longer than normal one. Uh, but we kind of picked it up in the middle of the Raktika Greatwood, and I felt like we kind of should resolve all of that before ending the video. So it's a little longer than normal. Bear with me. I hope you enjoy it. And um, I'll see you in a second, YouTube. All right, so basically picking up where we left off midstream, because we had to end it early, uh, we are once again gathering information from the residents of Fano to try and find where the Light Warden is. You search for the Light Warden, I cannot say I have ever laid eyes on it. Our duty is to protect the ruins, nothing more. We have no need to strike out in search of such a foe. The Light Warden? No, I have not seen it. But I have witnessed the horrors of the Lesser Eaters. How they are wont to hunt in packs and carry off their victims rather than consuming them on the spot. I suspect the Warden is a grotesque, corpulent thing, waiting patiently for its minions to bring its next meal. Seems fair. And it seems like a pretty good... assumption, actually. Do I get this ability? Level 76, so I should have it for the next dungeon, actually. Alright, all met. I pray the others were able to provide what I could not. Yeah, he got some information. Not a lot, but some. Near Rektika Falls. Why was I not told of this? I think I see now why it has never been spotted on our patrols. I have never heard of this Raktika Falls. I can but assume it lies deep within the woods of Yxmaya. Just so, but the tunnel which leads there collapsed after a rather bloody battle with the Eaters and has not been passable for many years. We made several attempts to clear away the rubble, yet each time we were driven back. In the end, we were forced to give it up as lost thereby making it a suitable place for the Warden to take sanctuary. There is perhaps one way to enter, though it would be at great peril to you and your companions. The Katana Ravel, a temple to the northeast. It has been sealed for centuries, but within is a path that leads to the falls. Can it be opened? For the allies of Ronka, it can. First, we must go to the Kamul Astropolis. Once the flow of magic is restored there, the path through the Katana Ravel can be opened. This may sound like a simple task, but there are certain obstacles which prevent us from attending to it ourselves, and we know not how to overcome them. The Emperor never granted our forebears leave to look upon the secrets we are charged with protecting, that we might not be tempted. The means to do so were withheld from us. But we can show you the way. The rest will be up to you. It would seem we have our work cut out for us then. Shall we? We shall, Yashtola. We shall. Did you have to ask? Let us be about it then. If that is your wish, it is my duty to escort you. While we attend to matters at the Kamul Astropolis, I would ask that your sisters accompany Orianje and Thancred and share with them all they can of these woods. While we have every intention of investigating Raktika Falls, it is yet possible the Light Warden dwells elsewhere. With that in mind, it would behoove us to prepare an alternative course of action. Uimet, Saimet, I leave them to you. Yes, sister. Should our present course prove false, doubt not but that Thancred and I shall find any and all possible paths forward. Hell yeah. What you seek lies in the heart of the Kamul Astropolis. Unfortunately, 
It too was sealed shut by order of his eminence. If we are to open it, we must first look to the morning stars. Come, I will show you the way. Okay. Oh. Let's not drive off the edge. You were able to keep up, I see. Well done. Beyond them is the Great Pyramid of Uxner. I don't know why it does that. Where the flow of magic must be restored. It is said that the monuments are themselves the keys to opening the pyramid. Though I know not how, that is for you to discover. Another puzzle. Wonderful. I would have a closer look. Okay. It is indeed another puzzle, but for a blessing, it appears to be similar to the one we encountered at the lake. These statues are all depictions of the divine beasts mentioned on the tablet. No doubt they will open the way into the pyramid in like manner. We have but to discern the correct order. Let's split up and search the area for clues. These ruins are covered in ancient inscriptions. The answer may well be hiding among them. Indeed, it may be best to just transcribe them as if they are as numerous as you say. Better than better that than risk overlooking something. Though transcription would prove impractical for you, not being versed in wrong script. No matter, you will employ a different approach. Impressions. Here. I had thought to use these clay tablets to record any significant imagery we discovered, but they will serve you just as well. Take impressions of any inscriptions you find. We will start at the base of the pyramids, you begin at the top. When you have finished, return here and I will translate your findings. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we gotta climb to the top of the pyramids. Jump! I feel like I'm playing Crash Bandicoot. I trust you've made good use of those clay tablets. I have. Well done. A moment while I decipher what you've found. Apologies for the delay. Nothing we saw at the base of the pyramids gave any hint as to the solution of the puzzle. Focusing instead on how to proceed having solved it. Your findings, on the other hand, appear to form a riddle. Once assembled, it reads as follows. Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, bread burdens bear. Dread, not bread. Dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call. Avert thy gaze, forever fall. I had assumed that the puzzle would involve a sequence, but from what Almet and I were able to gather, it is but a matter of suffusing one of the statues with ether. Okay. The question being, which one? Have you any thoughts? No. Given your talents for finding solution to vexatious problems, I think it best that you choose the statue. What say you, Morrigan? Oh, come on. Sure. Right then, after you have selected a statue, I will imbue it with the required ether. Should it prove to be a trap, I am more than capable of warding off any malign magics it may contain. Now which statue shall it be? Okay, might I hear the riddle one more time? Have it written here. Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call. Avert thy gaze, forever fall. The owl. Alright, I pray this works. Hmm. 
The ether has been absorbed. You really do have a talent for these things. That's because the thing of the Ronkin was an owl. So that's why I thought owl. The way should be clear now. Come, let us... Someone approaches. Sister! Sister! Simet? What are you doing here? What has happened? Your Moran soldiers! They have entered Ixmaya! Your Moran soldiers? And what of the blessed? Nothing specific, but it seems the Yulmorans had little interest in Slitherbow or its people. According to our scouts, their general and his men made all haste for the gate to Ixmaya upon finding it. You are able to return, or you are to return and assist Oimet at once. Once they are, they are not to set foot near the ruins of Fano. We will see two matters here and return as quickly as we can, understood? Yes, sister. Be careful. Though I knew time was short, I did not expect the Yulmorans to move so swiftly. But we have come too far to turn back now. Time is against us, friend. Quickly, into the pyramid. The switch should be through these doors, in the confessional of Tupasa the Elder, but why is it not open? Magic appears to be flowing through the walls, but it's being obstructed as it approaches the door. Hmm. Is it not strange that only one of these pedestals bears an owl statue? We probably need another one. Is passing strange indeed? Strange indeed. The second statue was likely hidden to keep the door sealed. We can cover more ground if we split up. All met, take the chamber to the south, Morgan the one to the east. I will search the chamber to the west. Okay. We'll sprint again. Then we have to get it back. And in order to do that, we have to avoid the gaze of the owl. I have looked everywhere and... Wait, is that... The statue! You found it! It looks light enough, but need but we need but return it to the other altar, no? One might assume so, but nothing about these ruins has ever been quite so simple. I sense the strange energy emanating from the eyes of the statue in the corridors of this place. Should this figure be moved, it would not surprise me for them to suddenly stir to life. A trap, then, for the unsuspecting as they attempt to return this to its rightful place. Precisely. Caution would serve us well here. Which is why I would ask you to deliver this statue to the main chamber. An abundance of magic yet courses through these walls, from my eyes distractingly so. I believe yours, on the other hand, would more aptly perceive the traps for what they are. Perceive. Alright then, we will meet you at the door to the confessional of Tupasa the Elder. You have two minutes to complete the task. Be wary of attacks from enemies, which will sap you straight. Alright. We have to avoid the eyes.
We go this way. We go this way. Long way around. We had more than enough time. We haven't even gotten down to the last minute yet. You successfully deliver the statuette to the altar. Damn right. The statue is returned, but was that enough? I believe it was. I can see ether flowing to the door now. That was a very loud door. I pray this means an end to the tricks and traps of these ruins. Well done. Hell yeah. You are but one step from entering the Katana Rabble, but I must warn you, this last step is without question the most perilous. Overcome the trial. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna decline. Overcome this final trial and the path forward will open to you. A path laden with more puzzles and traps, I'm sure. Did the Emperor always take such pleasure in wasting the time of his allies? Oh, let us end this Morgan, while time is yet on our side. Before we enter, I would tell you of the trial that awaits you. The chamber is said to be filled with all manner of devices to keep trespassers away from the switch. The most potent being wards of displacement, they may very well force you into danger. Should we become separated, please use these. Whisper weeds. They will allow us to communicate no matter where we may find ourselves. I think Morgan and I can work out how to use these well enough, thank you. Alright Morgan, the sooner we finish here, the sooner we can return to the others. Alright, duty time! Shall we get this over with? Hell yeah. We must hurry before the Yomoran soldiers go gain any ground. Reach the bowels of the Great Pyramid. Wait, do you see those sentinels? They are made to curse any who enter the pyramid. It is said to be seen by them is to be seen by death. Beware their gaze. I mean, that was easy enough. You guys cheated. Magic Knot. I love the name of this quest. Legend of the Not-So-Hidden Temple. Sister! Sister, can you hear me? Two soldiers have broken through our defenses. Follow them. They are not to reach this temple, understood? A pair of soldiers somehow made it past my sisters. No doubt on their way here. All the more reason we should hurry then. Another sentinel. Sentinel. Its movement is somehow different from before. I mean, it's easy enough. Now we're playing Metal Gear inside of Final Fantasy XIV. It must be quick. It's like the VR missions. There is a pattern to their movements, Yastola. Ow! Away with you! That was some bullshit. This curse was not as potent as I dared imagine, but I suggest we avoid other confrontations. It affects no doubt grow with every in invocation. They are massive. How are we to get around them? I will draw their attention with a glamour. It will not last long. The moment they are distracted, we must run with all haste.
Make ready to run. Now! Teleportation device? This should end well. There is no turning back. No. No, there's not. Morgan! Almet! Can anyone hear me? I have been sent to... <coughs> separate chambers. This mist poison, and it has <coughs> nullified my magic. These markings on the floor, I think they show the way out. Oh. I a hundred percent miss place where I was supposed to go. This is the only safe spot. Way easier than I made it look at first. Somehow we are still in one piece. That means little to the others if we do not hurry. Also, I'm having... I'm... Oh, shit. Indiana Jones! What was that noise? I am struggling to do voices because I am kind of congested and stuff. By the gods! Run! There! That crevice in the wall! Is there another one coming behind us? Oh, there is. Another crevice! And another crevice! And another crevice! There's another rock. We have to jump! No more rocks fall down here? Okay. Well, there is no going back now. I pray it is not much farther. Sister, they have reached the temple. I fear they are too fast for us. Be careful of the traps inside. We are nearly there. It is unheard of for anyone to outpace the Vs. What is this man who comes after you? Could it be Ranjit? If so, we have precious little time. Another door. Wonderful. I can but imagine what awaits us inside. Well. Imagine away, Yashtola. There you are! Impossible. My lord demands retribution. I fear this is going nowhere. Simon, you know what to do. At once, sister. I have him. We will hold him here. Quickly, make for the heart of Tupasa. This is actually a really cool cutscene coming up. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. More sentinels. Go, Morgan. I will draw their attention. Your level is no longer synced, which means we completed it.
Damn. It seems to be working. I think not. General, hold on! Huh? Oh no. Expertly done. How was I to know that that would happen? It looked like any other part of the floor. Might now be an opportune time to strike a bargain? We poisoned a number of villagers in Slitherbow with a toxin brewed for us by the children. Oh, you fucking bastards. This is the antidote. I dare say you know how potent their concoctions are, and the futility of trying to counteract their effects. Now, now. Try anything here, and we're all likely to fall. Eventually, someone will come to our rescue. Or yours. Promise us safe passage, and we'll give you the antidote. Did Ranjit's, we have a deal? Ranjit's not going to let you do that. So no. We do not negotiate with the enemy. The villagers' lives are forfeit. As is yours. General? She throws it to us. Do not fail. Dun dun dun. God damn it, Yashola. How noble and pointless. Is... is everyone all right? What in the... Orioge! This At is once. so cool. He rescues Ranjit. Down with you! And then Fancred hits him down. I wish you could actually do stuff like that in a fight. Like... Use rescue on enemies to pull them into AoEs and stuff. Where, where is Yustola? Yustola did Yustola things. Thankfully, Ranjit cohorts had the good sense to fall back. Yulnet should be here soon with word from Fano. We should hold our position here until she arrives.
Olmet, please tell me you know if that hole might lead out into the woods somewhere. Were there another means of exiting the temple, there is no question that we would know of it. But I fear that is of little consequence, for we have tried to mark the depth of the pit and failed. To fall from such a height. Sister, I come bearing news. The Yulmorn soldiers and the children have fled Yixmaya. They abandoned Slitherbow as well, though they yet remain in the swamps near Lakeland. Unfortunately, a number of the blessed were poisoned while feeding, fending off the soldiers. One we believe to be their order... Wait. One we believe to be of their order was found lost in Ixmaya, feverish and badly wounded. He was taken to Fano for treatment, but I fear there is little we can do for him. He and the other blessed will not last long without an antidote. Well, let me tell you. Then we must act quickly. If you've a spare vial, Menphilia and I can deliver it to the blessed at Slitherbow. You and Ariange should return to Fano and tend to the wounded villager there. Here you go. What about Yestola? I know it seems callous of us to leave, but she leapt into that hole for a reason. We have to... God damn it. I need to remember to use my mouse during this. Alright. My sisters and I will remain here. We must be certain no soldiers are still lurking around. Come, Morrigan. Let not Ishtola's sacrifice be in vain. To Fano. Not Runar! No! Heavens for Fenn, Runar. Twas he who forestalled the Yomorans procession, and in so doing afforded thee time to traverse the temple. Quickly, the antidote. Bottle of antidote. Runar still appears, appears visibly pained. Perhaps he requires another dose of the medicine. Third dose, huh? Good lord, how many times did they get you, bud? Medicine seems to take effect as the color slowly creeps back to his cheeks. It would appear the worst hath passed, though his wounds yet want for mending. I shall minister to him forthwith. Let's go... Celeste. Rest, Morgan, I prithee. I shall attend to Runar's ministrations. Runa, thank goodness. We delivered the antidote to Slitherbow, and from what we could gather on the way here, the Ulmorans have had the good manners to withdraw. Thank the gods they did, or we would never have made it here in time. I'm told we have Runar and his comrades to thank for keeping the soldiers occupied prior to their retreat. They were preparing to come for you and Yishtola, it seems when Runar rallied the villagers and pursued them out of Slitherbow. He 
Nix Meyer, in the care of the Vis. Thou art safe now, friend. Pray, rest thee a while longer. No. No, I am all right. Somewhat heavy of limb, perhaps, but otherwise well, I assure you. I am glad to see you are all safe. When we realized where the soldiers were headed, we knew something had to be done. Where is Master Matoya? I do not see Master Matoya. She was with you, yes? What happened to her? I cannot say for certain, but it was she who s secured the end. Spare me your riddles and speak plain. Where is Master Matoya? We don't know for sure. There was a pit. She fell in the pit. No. No. No, that cannot be. Why would she do such a thing? There are no other way. I... I cannot believe that she... That she... We must begin the search immediately. I will come with you. What are you waiting for? We must find her. She could be trapped, or hurt, or... She is alive. She is alive, damn you. I know, buddy. I know. Forgive me for interrupting, but our scouts have apprehended an intruder. We thought perhaps he might be an associate of yours. Perfect timing. Oh, look who it is. Well, this is embarrassing. In my defense, they are surprisingly tenacious. So, what trouble have you gotten yourselves into this time? Well, well. What an intriguing turn of events. My condolences, by the way. It is never easy to lose the ones we love. Doesn't feel very condolencing. Well, she is dead, isn't she? Wishing it were otherwise will not make it so. That you should be indifferent to her loss is no surprise. But to us, she was a friend. The best of friends. Do I get to say something? A rushing of wind. You have something on your mind. What is it? She used the magics again to send her into the live stream. After she fell, there was a powerful gust of wind as if from nowhere. 
much like when she whisked Thancred and herself away. Pray recount to us again that which thou witnessed in the ruins, omitting not the slightest detail. At the end of A Realm Reborn, same thing happened. Flow. The teleportation magic she used to spirit us away from Uldar after the bloody banquet. I recall a similar gale in the tunnel before it took effect. Interesting. I thought I sensed a brief disturbance in the live stream. How reassuring to know it was not my imagination. I felt it only once, I should mention. Which would suggest she is still adrift on its currents. Then I fear she may yet be lost to us. For it was only by the grace of the elementals that she was plucked from that great ethereal river. No, no. No, no, thank you. Or no, no, Arianche. Just wait. Ah, oh, very well. I'll go and fetch her. Perhaps a clear and unambiguous act of kindness will serve to win the trust you seem so determined to deny me. Uh, oh, let me bring back that. Now then, if I'm to fetch her for you, I will require a suitable place to work. We must find somewhere that resonates strongly with the life stream. And by we, I mean you. To that end, I give you this, an ethereal lamp of my own design. Keep it close as you venture out into the woods. The brighter the glow, the stronger the location's resonance with the life stream. Once you've found a likely spot, all you need do is whistle. You do know how to whistle, don't you, hero? Just put your lips together and blow. <laughs> no, doesn't work. This is when you all learn that I cannot, in fact, whistle. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hey, we can whistle. place should serve well enough. Might I have a little space? I need to concentrate. was her soul again? Ah, there you are. Now, like before, does she come back fully, uh, does she come back clothed, or is she gonna come back naked like before? Brought her back.
Ishtola, are you all right? <sighs> yes, though I cannot imagine how. What happened? Thou didst invoke the power of flow, which thence did usher thy soul unto the life stream. I wanted to save the antidote, and after that... <laughs> I did something exceedingly reckless, for which you will just have to forgive me. Master Matoya! Oh, thank the heavens, you're all right. I had nearly given up hope. There's a love story here. Please, Renard, dry your tears. What would the others think if they saw you like this? Come now. Did you really think I would go gently into that dark night with so much left undone? So many mysteries left unsolved. <clears throat> Is there aught you wish to say to me? A word of thanks, perhaps? Emmet Selk, the Asian of whom I spoke. Twas he who plucked thee from the life stream. I see. Thank you. Differences notwithstanding, you saved my life, and for that I am grateful. But let us turn our attention to more important matters, such as the Katana Ravel. You had better not have explored its depths without me. Heavens no. In fact, I was awaiting your return. I wouldn't have known where to start, or I'll tell you after you've got some rest. Nope, I wouldn't have known where to start. Well, Almut and the others should be pleased to see you in such uncharacteristically high spirits. Let us return to Fanoff then, and discuss the coming expedition. What a touching reunion that was. It fair brought a tear to my eye. But as we both know, such tender moments are nothing if not momentary. Before long, they will remember their many differences and return to squabble. Says the Archbringer of Chaos. Ah, <laughs> flattery will get you nowhere, my dear. But seriously. We Asians do what we do for the greater good, for the rejoining. Though we may sow the seeds of chaos, it is man who tends them, he who reaps their bountiful harvest. But I grow tired of these arguments. If you would kindly refrain from retorting and return to your customary brooding silence, I will take it as thanks for rescuing your companion and leave it at that. Now, we mustn't keep your friends waiting. That's how Fancred said it. He said Fanon. Which, I mean, this is not Five Nights at Freddy's. Hehe. <laughs> that was dumb. My apologies for having put you all through such an ordeal. 
I could see no other way to save the Knights Blessed. Happily, both they and I yet live thanks to you. But our work here is not yet done. We must make ready to enter the Katana Ravel and put the Light Warden to the sword. You are right. With the Yomorans gone and your companion now returned, I think it best you go now before they can regroup. With magic flowing more once more through the Great Pyramid of Uxna, the entrance to the Katana Ravel should now be open. Before we leave Arianje, did you discover anything that might suggest the Light Warden hides elsewhere? Nay. Though we had but little time before the Yomorans' most unwelcome arrival, we scoured the nearby environs and spoke once more with the one called Korai. Having hearkened to her tale, it is my judgment that the Sin Eater, which, here, which her late mother did espy, was indeed the being we seek, and that it most likely resides in the vicinity of Raktika Falls. In the absence of any subsequent sighting, I have no reason to believe our quarry hath sought out a new sanctuary, and given the considerable difficulty we face in reaching the falls, we may be certain it hath not been disturbed by man. Then our course is clear. We must navigate the Katona Ravel and make for Rektika Falls. Though you see it has but another obstacle to be navigated, the Katona Ravel is the oldest and most sacred of our temples. The accumulated knowledge of the Empire is said to reside within. Knowledge which is rightly yours as allies of Ronka, you are welcome to explore. I fully intend to survey every ilm of it once our mission is complete. Were the Emperor still alive, he would be overjoyed to hear you say so. But I must warn you, though the way is open, it will still be heavily guarded. To discourage trespassers and test the worth of our allies, it had to be so. Be careful in there. You got it. Head east and you will find the path of azure flowers leading to the rabble. I wish you safe passage through its halls. Master Matoya, I know I cannot dissuade you from going, so please, promise me you will return safely. The Knights Blessed need you. You need not worry, Runar. I shall return, and bring with me a long-awaited gift. One the Knights Blessed will treasure now and forevermore. Now, let us away. Hell yeah. Sorry, seven hells, yeah. Our earlier efforts were not in vain, it seems. Stay on your guard, Morgan. We know not what awaits us inside. The Katana Rabble now looks us. Alright, so we're running it with a trust because unfortunately the queue did not pop.
on this half, so we're opposite the eyeballs. Because that's a cleave. Now we want to make sure we're always on this half of him, because he cleaves the half that's all red. And then we have to keep an eye out for when he starts to overlap those two mechanics. to probably what I consider to be the most annoying pulls of this dungeon. And honestly, the reason I find them so annoying is because there's so many of the bats that it makes it annoying to try and do this. You just go slightly bigger pulls than normal. I'm pretty sure I jumped into all of those AoEs. It's fine. I, shall protect you. I would hope so, Urianje. Because I'm gonna need it. Good job, buddy, good job. You handled that spectacular. This boss, though, has a pretty cool design. And, uh, I saw a post, like, a year or two ago on Twitter now that was like a, uh, Dark Knight running this dungeon, and so they used their lip, they're not really in the break, they're in Vogue, which, with a Dark Knight, if they aren't he healed to max after using it, um, they die. Not, like, they don't have to be fully healed, they just have to be healed for their maximum amount of HP over the course of the invuln. And they had a macro set up. And so they used it, they uh, beat the boss, and then they didn't get, they weren't fully healed during that time. And so, like, in the chat box, it's like, oh no, my bones, and then they fall over. They fall over, wow. They fell over dead. I should have used my party-wide mitigation. I didn't move! Oh boy. I was too busy moving my phone out of the way. Is it Stola? You sure? He actually does seem to be dying pretty quick. I did not use my party-wide mitigation once like I should have through this fight. That was danger close, actually. I'm gonna trust we can... No, wait, I don't trust that we can. I was like, I'm gonna trust that we can kill it before, but no. No, I don't. Alright, Raktika Falls. This part of the dungeon, just look at it. So pretty. So pretty. But... Overcome These pulls also kind of suck. Hey! Get over here. Urianje? Urianje? Buddy! I think this is one of the cooler looking light wardens, honestly. Two dog heads and then one of the monkey heads in the middle. Which I'm sure is based off of some kind of, like, 
mythical creature or some kind of a religious creature in not even necessarily religious, I'm just struggling to think of how to word what I'm trying to say. Ooh, that's gonna hurt Lymphelia quite a bit. You will the day you cross my path. GG Stola. Time for you to absorb its ether, Morgan. The Light Warden is dead. The Blessed's prayers have been answered. Aye, that they have. Her condition yet troubleth thee? It does. Though she shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. She must be told. Would you describe it to me, Marie-Ange? Paint for me a picture with your words. A sea of shimmering stars. Diamonds strewn across a raven gown. Boundless and beautiful. It is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the Source. Calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. For however deep the void or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. Ominous though that may sound, given our present travails. Well fought. Let us return home. Indeed. Oh wait, I think there's more talking here actually. Because we get a lore dump here. The mules. If I am not mistaken, they predate the Empire. How can you tell? A peculiarity of the paint. Most are made from mineral-based pigments. But whatever was used here is older than anything I have ever seen. According to Almut, this sanctuary was built to preserve the wisdom of the ancients. 
What events do these murals commemorate, I wonder? Must you always linger after defeating your enemies? Navigating these halls on foot is exhausting. Come to lead us to safety, have you? <laughs> I was bored. But how is the hero of the hour? Hmm. Fighting fit, I see. Keep up the good work. You're plotting something. Every hour of every day. But never you mind about that. That's As funny. I have told you a thousand times before, I like to watch. Nothing more. Well, I would quit this place and I suggest you do the same. There is yet work to be done. Ah, oh, there is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. You recognize these scenes? Of course he does. That I do. Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and three reflections, sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. And the worst part? No one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. A vision shared of a paradise lost, preserved only in song and scripture and paint. Once upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again, to look, learn, and remember. Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. Before the great sundering, there was one world. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. Until it was faced with a crisis, unprecedented, terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac. Zodiac was his name, and by his grace was the calamity averted. Zodiac. A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought. Yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydalin. She who was to serve as his shackles. To bind him and hold him in check. And so they fought, and they fought, and they fought. And in the end, Hydalin was victorious. With all her strength, she smote him. Dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. And thus was Zodiac banished and his being divided. That concludes today's lesson on long forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her wont. I actually don't think she does. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydalin are not gods. But... What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... 
Oh. Oh. They are gods after a fashion, yes. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. The eldest and most powerful of primals. Dun dun dun! You have spun quite a tale. Yet you have not explained the role of the Asians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? <laughs> finally, finally you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. We Asians know because it is our history. Our story. It was we who summoned Zodiac. We natives of that sundered paradise. Now, do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? For our world. For our people. For all creation to be made whole again. Wouldn't you wish for the same? Oh, that hand wave. Oh, that hand wave. That was an enlightening experience. Though not in the way I had hoped. Do you suppose there is any truth in Emmett Selk's claims? I, I do. The recent event, event, the recent events, the recent events plainly warrant further discussion. I think it best that we wait until Alfino and the others are present. Emmett Selk included. How convenient that he should choose this moment to keep to the shadows. Well, no matter. For the present, we should return to Fanau and make sure, make certain of the Yulmorn's withdrawal. After that, Slitherbow, the blessed are in no doubt elated by what has become of the sky. No doubt. You are returned, and unharmed I see. Indeed, I am pleased to report that the Light Warden is no more, thanks to large part thanks in large part to you. That the death of a single Sin Eater should make such a difference. As our numbers waned, so too did our hope that the ruins we have devoted our lives to guarding would ever find purpose. Yet here you are, the allies for whom we have waited these many centuries, and with your arrival came the pass the chance to pass on our legacy. The ancient wisdom of the Empire. That alone would have been reward enough. Never did we imagine it would serve to banish the light that pervaded these woods. On behalf of the V's, our forebears, and the late Emperor of Ronka, you have our deepest thanks. It is we who should be thanking you. Our journey through the Katana Ravel proved most enlightening. To be privy to such knowledge is an honor, one for which we never hoped. Please, you need not be so humble. We but do our duty as decreed by the late Emperor. Would that he were still with us to express his gratitude in person. But sister, does this not mean our duty is fulfilled? To our allies, perhaps, but not. But the ruins cannot be left unguarded. So long as we live here in these woods, the secrets of Ronka must not fall into the wrong hands. Is Runar still here? No, we escorted him back to Slitherbow shortly after you set out. If you would return to the Knights Blessed, we will not keep you any longer. 
I suspect that they would be glad of your company. Thank you, Ahmed. I look forward to a day when we might share a more leisurely visit to the ruins of Ronka. We will await your return then. Ah, you are returned. And none the worse for wear, I see. You needn't worry about us. What became of the Umoran soldiers, more importantly? They turned tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. The children of the Everlasting Dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. Try as they might, they could not deny the truth of their own eyes. A sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need no pain or suffering. In that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain suspicions about you. Now I see that I was right. That doesn't sound good. You are the bringers of shadow. The warriors of darkness. The saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. I suppose you're not entirely wrong. But we are not worthy of your reverence. Nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray. Pray for your children. That they may one day know a better world. I will do as you say, but please, let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. I'm sorry, Runa, but there is still much to be done and scant time in which to do it. We must go. All of us. For we share the same path and the same fate. It'll be okay, Runa. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts. As we would hold you in ours. Now, and ever after. By the boundless dark. This I swear. Oh, there's Ardbert. Someday, buddy, we'll make you at peace. Don't you worry. Okay. Though it pains me to leave, it is time I return with you and the others to the Crystarium. But before we go, might I speak with you in private? I will await you in my chambers. Okay. I often want to spend time with Yastola, so uh, it's better be good, right? Does she not have a bed? Oh, it might be through that door that we never see through. Thank you for coming. I thought to keep my suspicions to myself, but after witnessing your victory at Rectika Falls, I fear they proved true, and so I must share them with you. From the first, when we met at Fort Gone, your ether has appeared tainted, suffused with an overabundance of light not unlike the Sin Eaters. When you defeated the Light Wardens, I fear the light which poured forth from it was not negated by Hydaelyn's blessing. Rather, it was absorbed into your being. Urianje also suspects as much, though he is unwilling to share his thoughts on the matter. One thing is certain, with every warden you defeat, the danger to you grows greater. Greater perhaps than we can imagine. If you begin to feel anything strange, anything at all, pray inform me at once. You should hurry before the others begin to worry. Once I have sorted my things here, I will join you. Alright. 
to the Slither Bow entrance. We took one last patrol of the perimeter. All things considered, Slither Bow remains relatively unscathed. Come on. Thanks to the antidote, all those who were poisoned will make a full recovery. And with the night sky returned, their prayers have at last been answered. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Shall we be off then? Art thou certain this is best? I'll not deny there is a part of me that wishes I could stay. For two years I have lived with the Blessed, learned their culture, even going so far as to adopt Master Matoya's name as my own. I but pray I did honor to it. Now is not the time for doubt or hesitation. Come, we must return to the Crystarium. All things considered, it is hardly surprising that Alfino and Alize have yet to arrive. But where is the Exar? My friends, tis good to see you all again. Alfino, it has been too long. I assume your presence here means you've brought word of the warden hiding in Raktika. I have. Slain it. Found and slain, you say? I should have known. Yulmor has but recently dispatched soldiers to all corners of Norvron to defend them. I am glad to see their efforts were wasted on the Greatwood. Speaking of Yulmor, what came of your meeting with Vothri? Yes, about that. It proved to be... Ugh. Exarch, you mustn't push yourself. Your time away from the tower has clearly taken its toll. No doubt you all are tired as well, having traveled so far. Why don't we all take a much-needed rest before we discuss our findings? I thought to propose the very same. After your clash with the Warden, you deserve a chance to recuperate. It's settled then. We reconvene after everyone has had time to settle in. Welcome back, miss. Returned from a lengthy excursion, I take it. Well, your room has been made ready, if you'd care to retire. Very good, I pray you sound s you sleep. S I don't even know how he said that, but it, it looked right, and then it looked very wrong. So, in my head. Not like wrong, like, oh, that's dirty. Wrong as in, like, what I was saying did not match what was written. So there's a light sealed inside you, is there? You wouldn't know it from the outside. You look the same as you ever did to me. Ah, listening to our conversation, huh? And what if that changes? What if it overwhelms me? I'm damned if I know. It's not as if I can lift a finger to help myself, much less you. Valid. Have faith in your friends, look out for them, and hope that they look out for you. What more can you do? Also solid advice. I appreciate it, Ardbert. Think he was telling the truth? Emmett, I mean. All that rot about Heidlin being no different from any other primal. If so, what would that make her blessing? Are we just slaves to her will? We're thralls, buddy. Ah, let's pay him no mind. Lies the Asian stock in trade. Villains, heroes, all a matter of perspective, they'd have you believe. One man's fond memory, another's waking nightmare. 
Me, I'm no saint or savior. Just another sinner. And I know damn well I'm in no position to judge. When I saw the people of Slitherbow look up at the sky and celebrate the return of the dark, it felt good. It was moments like that that I cherished. Much more than the thrill of adventure. The quiet after the storm. I always took comfort in that. Meanwhile, in Garland. What did the scouts have to report? Several skirmishes, but nothing of consequence. The fighting seems to have taken its toll on both sides. A stalemate, then. The Alliance has done well to hold the line for so long. <laughs> but then they did have Ishgardian reinforcements. Nevertheless, neither side has any appetite for a prolonged engagement. Tis but the calm before the storm. And should the Empire choose to bring their full might to bear? To say nothing of Black Rose. All the more reason to hasten our search. How close are your people to identifying our next target? Close enough. Though I have received some troubling intelligence. Wow. Uh -oh. One of our generals posted to the Alamegan front recently disappeared without trace from the battlefield at Gimlet Dark. Ooh. Odd. Dead seems unlikely. Fled less so. I wonder where he'll turn up. Were I a betting man, I would say here, in the capital. Oh? Not that any deserter who valued his life would contemplate returning, but a corpse might given the right encouragement. In the manner of his royal remains, you mean? Elidibus plainly has no need of a new host. So the question becomes, who? Valid? It may be that another player has joined the game. Something to consider at any rate. But come, there is work to be done. Interesting. I believe we found the gin. These bloodless games make for poor sport. May happy father. No. I am a stranger to him in this body. Besides, there is but one hand that can make me whole again. My enemy. My friend. I know not what entertainment occupies you, but if you will not clear the way for me, then I shall seize the reins of fate once more. Valid. Bring it, Xenos. As I say, there's some weird sounds. Thank you so much.
so much for watching YouTube. I hope you have enjoyed part six of Shadowbringers. I know this video was a little longer than normal, um, but there was, I, I didn't really want to end it in the middle of a story section. Like I felt like we kind of had to get to the point where loose ends were tied up. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you're thinking of these videos down below and you can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Caleb Games here, where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, usually starting between 9 and 10 a.m. I love you YouTube and I'll see you around.